Okay, so for Project Life for the week of January 15th through 21st, I went with Tracy Reed with the Renewal Collection. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, I've been fighting this horrible cold. Um, basically, what I did for this week was I went with the digital like I am going to do for every week. And um, I went full on the digital for the background, as you see. And um, you can tell that I used the cards and the Ellie's and all the little elements. I love Tracy Reed because with her, she has a ton of elements, alphabets, digitals, overlays. She has so much to offer in a collection for such an economical price. So if you haven't checked her out, it's tracyreed.com and her shop, she has, this year she's doing these awesome cards. You see how cute this is? And every month she'll have a new one. She just released February, it's smitten and it has fabulous um, Valentine look and of course the Project Life look. And you'll be seeing that in my February. But so I did this for January and then I was sick. I've been fighting this horrible, like I catch something nonstop ever since I had COVID back in September. And so I decided to put this bag in here because it shows um, what they were like. And it's just kind of rice papery feeling. And then I put my prescription in here um, and it tells what prescription I was on. And it's kind of funny because it shows what I paid after um, my insurance. And I think that's kind of cool because with that, you're seeing what a drastic amount you would pay without insurance. And I just think it's crazy what healthcare costs. And I think, you know, in years to come, that's going to be crazy to see um, for my ephemera this time. Because, you know, I'm really huge on that. So I went with showing the, um, the top of the Kleenex box, my Advil that I had taken that week. And I also had to change my ink cartridges in my printer. And so I told a little story using an Allie Edwards card. I used three of them in here about um, what I printed home and how I see that. And I just thought this little card was great. I have all these little cards because, you know, we collect cards as we have all of our subscriptions. So I'm starting to use them in these little ephemera pieces. I could have printed some out of here, but since these were already printed, I'm really looking at my footprint. And when I say footprint, what I'm saying is by using these pieces, I feel like I'm not throwing away trash and I'm using it as ephemera in my collections, but also by using these, yeah, I could have printed out of here because they have awesome cards, but I have so many of these extra from my subscriptions. I'm just using them up. So I went ahead and found some that matched and I just went ahead and put them in here. This is a five below. So I told a story and I put that in here. On this side, I chose a few pictures of Harper and I from that week, put a quote card in here, told a little story, and then it was just a simple week. Project life does not have to be labor intensive. And I think that's where we can get really overwhelmed with it. And you're like, I don't have the pictures. I don't have the stories. It's not that big of a deal. You can really throw a few pictures in. Mine's a little more than a lot of people's, but I also have the big stories. I document my, my little human's pictures in their stories. I document stories in my family albums, but this is the time capsule of my life. And that's just kind of what I want to do with it. So once again, thanks for stopping over and looking. Um, I look forward to seeing you. I know the plan is to get this out on Tuesdays, but I kind of got sick over the weekend and I had a doctor's appointment yesterday. So I'm sorry I'm a little bit late, but better late than never, right? <laughs> Thanks for stopping in and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Bye-bye.